All right, everyone. Uh, this is a teaser for my upcoming album, Serotonin and Money. This is the worst song of the album. I figured it was a great one to debut and give everyone a taste of what's coming because it can only get better from this one, I guess. Uh, it, it's it's I put a lot of work into it. it. It's got a lot of heartfelt lyrics. It really it, it may be the worst song, but it probably is the one that means the most to me emotionally. So I, I hope everyone can take the time to find the sort of deeper meaning and what I'm talking about through the layered metaphors in the simile and and everything. Uh, yeah. Anyways, without further ado, uh, this is the worst song of my album from Serotonin and Money. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. It's not very good. I don't know what I'm doing. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. I don't really know what it's even about. I just keep on talking through the whole damn thing. Everything I'm saying seems so in vain. It's all just a bunch of nonsense said to a beat. And even that I can't keep really straight through the whole thing. But I know that I have to do something. I promised a bunch of people that I would. So I decided that this would be the first song that I made until some inspiration came. That's why this isn't a very good song. It's just a bunch of stuff that means nothing. Don't try to find any deeper meaning in it. Cause all it is is just the things off the top of my head. That's right. That's what I said. It's not a very good song, but oh well. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. All the others don't get much better. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album and anyone who thinks otherwise well doubt em. I just realized that maybe there is deeper meaning in these lies. Perhaps this song is about something bigger like the way we realize what's in our media. All our entertainment is just all bullshit. None of it is much deeper than this, but we still consume it all and eat it up and talk about the things that it means like it's enough to give us some sort of purpose in this meaningless life. Wow, I fucked up that word, but I won't say it twice because this song has no edits at all and it's just one take. How about that? I know that I tried to tell you that there's more meaning, but that was just a lie. You see what I'm gleaming? You can't even trust me. I'm not a reliable narrator. Yeah. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. Notice how half of it doesn't even rhyme? This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. You might think I had to plan it to make it make sense, but I didn't. It 
it's all just kind of riffing off the top of my head. I don't know what I just said. Was that even a sentence that made sense? It's already lost to all the other nonsense. Cause this is the worst song of my album. That's right, the chorus came a little faster this time. This is the worst song of my album and if you don't like it well that's just fine because everyone has different tastes and opinions and some of these songs well they ain't for them that's why this might actually be the best song because it's the only one that doesn't have some sort of objective bias in it therefore it can't be misinterpreted but if people have a problem with the fact that it's not really about anything then maybe they won't like that i don't really know opinions are weird and all of our art is judged based on them i'm looking at the track and i realize that this song is already gone for six and a half minutes holy shit should i end it here i don't really know i've never done this before but this is the worst song of my album this is the worst song of my album this is the worst song of my album i decided not to end it because this is kind of fun i wonder how many people will listen all the way to the end of this song probably not many consumer attention spans are like under 15 minutes so if i get it that long then it will ensure that no one will ever finish this song and i can say whatever i want at the end but now that i've made this challenge about halfway through it means that the personing listening yes you is going to listen all the way through Holy shit, that was way off the beat, oh my god. Well, that's saying in, cause we're not editing this song. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. And check it out, I can change the beat. Now the song has gotten a little bit funky. Now it's gotten kinda weird with this little hum. I don't even know what's going on. So I'm changing it back cause that's just a little obnoxious. Okay, let's get back on track to this song. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album and if you don't like it well then you're right cause it's not a very good song i didn't think it through and that's why i said that i was new but you already know that we covered it earlier so instead let's just talk about the song some more I want to put some filler in to make it make sense, perhaps give it some deeper meaning than just this. Alright, fine, it's about politics. Notice how I've said a lot but not gotten anything done, just like the politicians. Ha, see how you can describe whatever meaning that you want to all the things that I am gleaming. Yes, I used that rhyme earlier, I remember it, but maybe you have already forgotten it. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album and because it's worse i can say the off-tonal singing's on purpose because it's bad it's made bad with intent therefore it's actually good you see what that works that wasn't even words it wasn't bad because it was good i don't know it feels like a logical fallacy this is the worst song of my album this is the worst song of my album this is 
the worst song of my album. Maybe I made it bad on purpose, yes? I don't feel comfortable with this, and it makes me feel so nervous. So perhaps I picked a sort of ironic lens in which to present all of this information in, so that I don't actually have to express vulnerability, so that everyone will see me as just some sort of charming guy. I don't know. Maybe that's the meaning. Maybe that's what I am trying to say, is that we should just be ourselves and not be afraid. I don't know. I've told you before that everything I'm saying is just a lie. There's no deeper meaning hidden with inside. Now we've hit 11 minutes, but we still gotta go because YouTube's algorithms don't pay me unless it is over 20 minutes. So this song must last that long. Just kidding, that's way too long for a simple song. But 15 minutes is what I promised, so we'll go to that point because this is the worst song in my album. This is the worst song in my album this is the worst song in my album notice how i switched the chorus probably not because my guess is you stopped listening three minutes ago when i put the intentional silence in to make you think that the song was over but it wasn't and you should have known by checking the mp3 length oh well I guess that's your fault, and now this is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album, and whatever meaning you think it has, you're right. Because art is not up to the creator, it's up to the person who interprets it. No matter what I say, I can say it with any sort of intent. But it doesn't mean a thing. Oh, okay. It's now hit 12 minutes 30 seconds, so we might just end it here. Alright, how's that sound? This is the worst song of... Okay, it's over. This is the end of the song. Goodbye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the worst song of my album. Stay tuned for more from Serotonin and Money. Coming soon to a record near you. I don't even know how to get a song on a record. Hmm. Ha! I got you. You thought I made the silence earlier because I told you in the song that's what I did. But the silence was actually just now, and the song isn't over yet. Cause this is the worst song of my album, and it wouldn't be bad if it didn't go on for too long. But I have to make sure that it's unexpected, or then it turns into some cruel joke instead of comedy. That's right, the song's supposed to be funny, but it's not really funny because it's about nothing. 
so it can't be funny. Then it'd be about something, cause comedy intrinsically has value to society. But whatever, that's not for me to tell you. Cause this is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album and if you think it's good well then thank you for your support it means a lot to me because i still don't know what i'm doing but thank you anyways for listening and i hope that this song gave you some sort of feeling be it happy or sad or maybe a little mad when you realize that I've wasted 15 minutes of your time with these lies and all the things I'm saying. So, whatever, as long as you're feeling, because feeling is the most important thing in the world, and as long as we feel, then we can continue to express empathy to other human beings around us, and try to understand their situation without fuss, because that's what really matters in life, is caring about each other, and making sure that we take care of each other. Now it kind of seems like the song has some purpose, but it still doesn't. I promise you that. All the words I'm saying are still just nonsense. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album and if anyone says it's not well then you'd better doubt them cause they clearly don't have any in sort of taste they just make up what they like on out of a place wow that was another really forced rhyme this time oh well it doesn't really matter cause it's fine no one's listening at this point and that's okay because it's not like i made this for anyone anyways it's just a sort of song to express myself and get some of these feelings off my chest that i've been shelving it's a healthier way to process emotions because keeping them bottled up like an ocean is a terrible idea for anyone and if you want to feel better then you have to be okay with feeling and expressing yourself in some sort of healthy way wow maybe i did find meaning in this song i don't know but it's going on for way too long and i hope that other people can have some enjoyment out of this and we're just covering the same top Fixed. That's how useless this song is. It's just so repetitive. Look at that rhyme. That one kind of worked, but it really, really lagged with the beat, I guess. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album. This is the worst song of my album and somehow it's not even the longest one wow this is the worst song of my album this is the worst song of my album this is the worst song of my album but i think it might actually be the best so enjoy and enjoy and enjoy the rest i said enjoy three times that's right Got a problem with it? Take it up with my producing label. I don't have one. No one's paying me to do this. I'm just making this for no one. Because why not? What else am I gonna do with my time? Anyways, we've almost hit the 20 minute mark. And now the song has just evolved into me talking. Twice, for the second time. If you stuck around this long, I'm proud of you. And I hope you enjoy what comes, because there's a lot more bangers. And this, undoubtedly, without question, is If you listen 
to this song all the way through then there's a treat for you the password to the real song is one two three four you probably should have tried that first <laughs>